Hello everybody, here we are again with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be going into the fourth stage of the God of Destruction event and yeah, we're going to just be trying to beat Kintella once and for all. I actually have not only attempted a stage like once with like a super int team uh, just to try out the waters and obviously I haven't beat the stage so <laughs> we're going to hop in today. We have three attempts. Firstly, we're going to go ahead and try out this Majin Power Team. Um, I don't know. I just kind of want to see how this magic power team works. So I wanna, I'm kind of scared of Super 17, but Super 17 can get up to 70% damage reduction and then greatly raise defense. So I want to see how he would do. Um, and overall, this team's going to be a lot of healing. I brought the Whis because of that instead. If we take a look at the Maj and Power team itself, there are a couple of options here. I mean, technically i could have run this guy but no <laughs> uh this guy is a pretty good option as well but i don't want to really run him because he doesn't have too much stoops this guy would be great but this enemy is tech so i don't want to really bring him uh exchange boo you would have to hide a lot actually see another reason why i'm bringing super 17 is because this guy gets 13 percent attacking defense per additional androids category ally on the team we're going to do this, and if this one doesn't work, we're going to hop in and switch out Super 17, seeing how he does. And this is the backup team. Um, <laughs> this team is basically... Uh, they, I would say that team has a pretty good shot at winning, <laughs> more or less. Um, shouldn't be that difficult, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Well, I'm saying that, and then I'm going to get like absolutely destroyed. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. So obviously, since we do need the boot, boo, um, the boo is... Actual stack. We're gonna go ahead and start out with the Whis immediately. I think. Um, yeah, we're gonna skip the Rainbow one on rotation. And look at Boo Tanks right here. 55% and he's starting up at 150k defense basically, and this one at 180k. That's pretty solid. We are going to. We want defense stacking, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna give this guy all these orbs. Save those ints for sales. And yeah, we're gonna give this. So both of these guys are full level 10 links. Uh, the friend has some equips too. Pretty nice. My, um, oh, what is this gonna do? 300k with the Wii. <laughs> oh my god. We're already gonna get a cell transformation. <laughs> what is this? Okay, uh, I did not expect to get a cell transformation like the very first time. Well, no, actually, we should be fine. Um, because. Actually, it's going to be a little dangerous next turn. But with Super 17, Super 17 with the Whis should be just fine as long as he's not in the first slot and he's able to raise his defense. And another thing, we're also going to be able to uh, heal the turn after because, oh, actually, no, we are getting Cell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Imagine getting Cell the second. Well, I mean, it's, not, it's kind of like it's SBR in a sense. You know, a lot of times you would get Cell in the second fight, but jeez, or the second, like, turn but geez i did not expect to lose that much hp um yeah until boot tank starts really get stacking it took can take a little bit of damage while it's like in turn you know esther vegeto technically he will be able to tank better from the very first turn i'd say uh so we're gonna go ahead and continue like this icarus yeah good job icarus thank you uh i wonder how much damage this is gonna do this is 10 orbs right here how many orbs does cell need it's been a while since you sell my cell uh, only has one dupe, but he is basically max link. I should give him better equips too. He is maxed out in links. He needs eight orbs. So I'm just going to give him this nine so I save the others. We're going to do this. And since we do have the Whis up active as well. Okay, so it's good. He has 147k. Actually, um, I'm going to do something real quick. Yes, I do have the Mr. Beast Burger app. I tried it out. It's actually pretty decent. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not bad. You know, I, I got pretty decent burgers, I'd say. Uh, okay, off. <laughs> going back on topic, though. Um, Mr. Satan. We are going to basically switch around. Well, okay, this means reason might have been for nothing. Because I forgot Cell and the Android 13 don't even share links. So since they don't share links, I don't know if I want to keep them both on the same rotation together. What I'm going to try and probably do is keep Buhan and Cell on the same rotation. Since we have Android 13 floating, we should be fine with Key. Plus, Boo actually will be able to uh, get like, what is it? How many? He gets like uh, an extra Key per, um, I forgot the word, 
my, br my brain is small again. <laughs> he gets an extra keeper uh, type key sphere obtained. And Cell also gets four key at the start of turn, doesn't he? Something like that. Yeah, because look, if you see, they don't share links. And that's not good. I would at least want a first battle. So we're going to do this. Uh, so that restart was for nothing. Except for, I guess you guys knowing I got, I get Mr. Beastburger. Like, I got him all like once. <laughs> uh, how much is he going to take here with the Wii Sective? Okay, double digits. How much damage will he do though? Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty spicy for, <laughs> that is pretty spicy for 69%. I, I just feel like the cells are so much better than Gohan now. It's not even crazy. Like, look at it. Look, he almost got a full health bar himself. Go cell. So Super 17 is going to be able to build up to around 50% damage reduction now. And he does also have the Whis active, so it essentially kind of has 80%. The only thing is that he won't really do damage uh, unless he gets a crit like that. But that's going to be just fine because he's his role is to really kind of tank and be that last slot unit right there. Um, for me, that I feel like is going to be pretty decent. Yeah, only 100k from 13 is pretty good. So we do not have the... Okay. We're going to keep... Should I keep on rotation? Kind of want to keep Buhan on rotation. Not going to lie, to be honest. If I give him nine orbs, Buhan has. Doesn't have. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't have prepared bosses yet, right? So. That's still pretty decent. And then I'm going to give you these. We should not die here. I'm going to still use. We shouldn't die here. I, don't, I think it'd be stupid to use the Whis right here. We should not die at all. Um, don't. Oh, well, I say that. <laughs> and we're getting this Boo. Boo hunts 3.2 million, though. His Boo hunts taking a lot of damage because he doesn't have big bad bosses yet. Um, I think we should be okay as long as he doesn't super attack Boo tanks in the middle right there, which is entirely possible. Um, just don't super attack Boo tanks, and we're good. Literally, it's gonna be so annoying if he does super attack boot tanks. He dodges too, cause yeah, cause boot tanks take double digits from from the uh, normals now with the items. Well, almost. I think one more stack and it'll be perfectly fine as well. Um, but I might transform with the boo next turn. We'll see. Kid boo is doing fine right here. Yeah. Okay. We should survive here. We're definitely gonna use the weiss right here in this rotation. Uh, we actually could use cells active skills. So that's cell. Uh. I need to transform with you. Yes, we're transforming with you. That way we can get big bad bosses for Cell and the extra healing. And then when Cell is going to have big bad bosses, he's going to do a lot more damage on his active skill. And be able to have, of course, extra defense, which will be very helpful for us. Um, we're also going to use the Whis, probably. Yeah, the Whis is a good idea, I think, right here. Let's see. So, Bootanks is at 200k defense, and he only got one stack, and that's at 55%. Pretty good. Unfortunately, I do wish I could have stacked with him more, but it's the smart idea to make sure we get big bad bosses with this active skill. Because we need damage, for sure. Cell's, like, probably going to be our biggest damage dealer most of the time. Because, obviously, he's type advantage. Crit right here? No crit, unfortunately, but that's okay. So, we are going to lose... Uh, we actually didn't lose links. Um, we actually probably gain more links from having him in the middle. Shocking speed, pretty good. We're gonna give Cell all these. Cause Cell needs eight orbs. We have to give him all these, unfortunately. We're gonna give Buhan these right here. Do I need to use the yes? Uh, I'm like, do I need to use the Whis? I I will use the Whis. Just cause Super 17, so he can get that final build up of his passive. And along with that, uh, we can get one more turn, probably, of the other boot tanks. Okay, so he's supering Cell, so that's not going to do anything. Yeah, only 100k. Well, actually, it's pretty good that we used the item there, because he still did 100k. <laughs> 5.6 million this time with big bad bosses, so he jumped fought, like a 600k attack stat, which is pretty good. Um, so we should be able to clear it with this team now. I'm pretty confident because uh, the boos are all built up. The only one I would have to really worry about is my 55% Buhan. Since we won't really have a Whis anymore. And luckily he is getting additional super attacks. Which is very good um, when he's transformed. He does, uh, I believe he does an additional attack. Which has a 30% chance of being a super attack. Which is very strong. So with the Whis he is taking double digits. I think even without the Whis he would take double digits. 
again the one i was worried about super 17 at the end but super 17 being here will definitely allow us to get more um of the andrew 13's passive which was really need and he does have the full 70 percent damage reduction now Whew, this is really tough what do i want to do here i'm gonna transform you <laughs> look at your defense jeez we're also gonna get a uh, big bad bosses for buhan right here is it smarter to have this guy in the first slot i think it is because Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Cause deep cause his defense is gonna be like 300 k it's, it's not even a it's not it's, it's no. We're gonna have you in the first slot. But the unfortunate thing is that I guess we won't get as many orbs for him, but that's fine. We're gonna give you nine of these at the very least. And can we still get eight next turn for cell? Uh unfortunately not, so we're just gonna bring the ints down. Yeah, because this guy is, even if he gets supered, he's not going to take 500k. And he's going to take double digits from these. He's he's not going to take 500k. I refuse to believe he would take that much. So 6.46 million is pretty strong from Buhan right here. I keep saying Bu, Bu tanks, but it's probably, it's Buhan. It's obviously Buhan. And especially if he gets crits, additional super? No, unfortunately not. So now this guy's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, this is going to, is actually going to be... Oh yeah, look, 84,000 damage without items. Like, once you're able to get this guy to transform, he is gonna be solid here. 400k defense right there. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> the difference is that even though Vegito gets you that, like, 50% healing, which is very strong, this Buhan right here, he's gonna heal every turn, and then he's gonna have, like, 400k defense. Well, this is a rainbow one, but, like, even then, look, mine right here is at a gonna be at 233k defense it's only 55 percent so it's like <laughs> this is pretty good obviously um and even him he won't die from a super attack he'll take he'll take like 300k or something but all these guys are gonna well maybe not sell sell before he super attacks might take uh some damage but look we're gonna be healing with the kid boo at the end we should be just fine here yeah 36k before i think did I use a second Whis? Did I use a second Whis? If I didn't, I should have used a. No, we did use a second Whis. Oh, you know what? Actually, actually, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So he took he took the eighty six there, K six there, Butan, Buhan. But I'm really stupid and I forgot we did have the Whis active. So okay, I'm actually a little scared here because yeah, fifty four K is a lot of damage. <laughs> Uh, but again, he's only 55%. So Kid Buu's gonna heal. Kid Buu should be able to survive this. He's at 4.17. Um, the Whis was active last turn. Okay, I think that's kind of more so of how strong this guy is compared than what, like, Boo Tanks actually is like. Because, like, he has f basically 400k defense, and that guy did bajillions of damage. Um, this is tough. This is really tough. I think the move, the move is probably to do this. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna still do this anyways. We're gonna give you these four orbs. I think this is the move still. What did he take? 350k plus from a super attack with type neutral. We'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. And if I if I die right here, I'm gonna be salty. Okay, so he is taking double digits still from normals, which is very strong. Compared to like for example Vegito. Okay, this is a win. <laughs> that was actually a little scary at the end, not gonna lie. Um because Okay, so um even then like 86k is pr so pretty good, even though I'm pretty sure we have the Whis active. Um it's a little hazy. This event's definitely hard, but we were able to get the clear with the Majin Buu team, which I'm very glad we're able to get the clear with this team. Because again, this team, I definitely am a bit advocate for this team. I really do love this Buu Tanks unit, and I feel like leader skills are super important for Dokkan Fest exclusives, a little more than other people usually would. So being able to clear with this team makes me reaffirm how I feel about Buu Tanks. Well, now he's not the best unit in the game anymore, but I still think he's probably number three overall if you consider everything. I do like him a little better than Vegito. Now, of course, the thing about this event is that Vegito is probably better for no item runs because Boo Tank still has to stack a little. And in that first turn, he can be a little iffy, especially in type uh, neutrality. 
but Vegito is a little better there, so it's wishy-washy, I mean. But Vegito, when he transforms, would you want to transform with him? I feel like even though he'll, he'll do a lot of damage, Butank's, uh, Buhan's sustain ability and the amount of defense he has will probably be much more important for you in the long run, especially considering he could also do tons of damage. Like, you see uh, this one right here, the Rainbow one, is in 6.4 million attack stats, uh, and he could potentially triple super as well. So yeah, um, I'm what I'm... This is the final actually uh, stage that I did so far that we have available. I might try to do new item runs of these stages as well because they're definitely possible. I just don't know um, if it would be possible for someone without having like full rainbow decked out teams. It's not like I'm that far away from that specifically, but we'll go ahead and see. Um, that's basically it for the video. Thank you guys for watching till the end if you did. Feel free to like, share, subscribe if you did enjoy the content. And I do hope you all having the best of luck in this event. Uh, that's basically it. And I will see you all in the next one.